five second board indeed is shown. So the race almost with us. 15 minutes of racing for the 5 Cup MX5 Cup. Lights go out and away they go then for the second time this weekend. And it's uh, Oak Richardson that seems to make a pretty decent start from the front row of the grid. Ben Hansi there in second place. Then you can see the familiar Scott Leach blue car with a yellow front and the red tongue sticking out as well. He's there in third place. That's Tom Holland who's gone gravel tracking uh, and he's lost quite a bit of time because he started on row two of the grid and is now mired in the middle of the field. He will have work to do as this race unfolds. But it's Oak Richardson, number 17, uh, with his father watching uh, from hospital. Uh, he is leading the way then from in second place Ben Hansi, third place Scott Leach, and Tomlinson looks to be fourth, and then in fifth place it's the 50 car of Christian Young. Good start for him, he's got himself up ahead of Jordan Johnson, obviously the car that lost out was Tom Holland, we saw him through the gravel uh, up there at the first corner, into the S's, flat out I think in these Mazda MX-5s, one car off though, that's uh, the 90 car of Andrew Robinson, who started on row 8 of the grid. This is Sunny. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six cars in a line with uh, yesterday's long time leader at the back and yesterday's winner at the front. Richardson at the front of the group, then, as they come into the complex, and no particular challenging moves yet. We've seen out of this group, you'd have to think that Jordan Johnson wants to move forwards during the course of it. There's a good battle behind, which sees Matthew Neal making a move on Martin Vernon. And then that's Tom Holland, isn't it? Trying to get positions back in the BS Motorsport uh, car. So he gets himself up ahead of Martin Vernon. Then just behind him is David Brown, who I think has made quite a good start to this race. And there's, what, three or four cars still involved in that battle uh, that I think is for something like 10th position. Yep, so top two getting away here. That's Oak Richardson, number 17, and Ben Hansey, number 40. And a gap back to Scott Leach. At the rear of this group is the man that was leading for much of yesterday's race, number 92, uh, Jordan Johnson. So he will have his eye on getting to the head of this group and then potentially taking the challenge to the top two. Ben Hansi is going to have a look down the inside into Tower Corner to try and find a way past Oak Richardson. Hansi in the white car with the green mirrors, can't find a way through there, but still has the front of his car alongside the rear of that of Oak Richardson. Side by side behind as well, that's Christian Jung, I think, trying to get past Ian Tomlinson. In fact, those four cars were basically two abreast. And there's a touch there through the Jim Clark S's. They've both gone wide. Scott Leach gets back onto the circuits there, approach Barkoff, who's still there in third position somehow, Josh. Yeah, I wonder if Christian Young's have just backed out of that a little bit. He's having a good run here, though, isn't he? Finished seventh yesterday, uh, did Christian Young. And uh, a little bit slower than this group, but he's right there today. And he so nearly took third position. Ian Tomlinson, though, looking down the inside of him. He can't get through because they're battling so much. Jordan Johnson's been able, unable previously to make a move, but um, yeah, we still can't quite get alongside and ahead of Ian Tomlinson. But despite their battle, they're not uh, losing the lead pack. So it's still six for the lead at the end of two laps of racing. Ian Tomlinson is uh, a wise head in Mazda MX-5 racing. Very difficult to, uh, to get past as Jordan Johnson is now discovering, I think. That's the top six. Get back to seventh, which I think is actually Adrian Johnson, Jordan's father, about three seconds behind uh, behind his son. I think so. and it looks like Jordan Johnson has now made it through into fifth place at Clairvaux, by the way. This is the next group of cars that we're now seeing. We saw Tom Holland going through there. He is up to 10th position now as the leaders nose to tail once again along the back straight past the old pit lane and towards tower corner. Is Hansi going to have a look up the inside this time? He's leaving it fairly late, but no, he can't go through there. There you can see confirmation that number 92, Jordan Johnson, the sort of gunmetal grey car, is now through into uh, P5 at the expense of Ian Tomlinson. And through the Jim Clark S's again, past that sort of tyre stack, marking the second of the apexes. Then they run through the fast, flat-out right-hander at Barkley, and the very tricky uh, double right-hander at Sunny. Through the first and the second part of it, then they squirt onto the power for a relatively short run 
to the complex. Eric Richardson, it is still that's leading. I wonder if Ben Hunt is going to try the same tactics as yesterday and effectively not really make any really bold moves until the final lap of the race. Problem today is they're not pulling away from the pack and you know Jordan Johnson is fighting his way through. On the last lap, Christian Young was the fastest driver but on this lap he loses the position to Jordan Johnson but then he fights back on the exit of the hairpin. As, but uh, yeah, I think Johnson might be able to hang on when they get down towards Clairvaux. The 141.9 for Young that gave him the fastest lap. And in fact, his nose is on the head, but he's on the wrong line into the first corner. So Jordan Johnson does take it into fourth then. And it's his turn to set the fastest lap of the race. So 141.37. So he's about three tenths of a second quicker than the leaders. And he's realising there's a gap now developing between second and third. So Jordan Johnson realising he wants to make a move. And perhaps this is the point where Ben Hansi can try a bit harder to get past Oak Richardson. Because Richardson just felt the need to bring his car to the middle of the circuit a bit more than he has done at any point in this race into that uh, corner. But again, no way through for Ben Hansi. Oak Richardson then still leading. So they come down towards the S's for the fourth time in this race with Leach and Johnson not too far behind. There's the battle then for third position. Scott Leach, number 13, the driver from Bulkington, Warwickshire, just ahead of Jordan Johnson, the driver from Gloucester. Johnson very keen not to lose absolute touch with the leaders. We're still not halfway through this race, eight and a half minutes left to go. But Johnson will want to try and clear yesterday's third place man, Scott Leach, just as soon as he possibly can and get on terms with the top two, Oak Richardson and Ben Hansi. Wide open championship this year, of course, Ben Short, although it was on the entry list for this race, not taking part, instead focusing on, on running the BS Motorsport team for this weekend. Over the line they go to complete another lap then. That's lap number four. And it is still Oak Richardson that leads. The gap between them is four tenths of a second Jordan Johnson on that lap did the best lap of the race 141.04 and he's really piling the pressure on Scott Leach now as they head through Hawthorne yeah, I thought he was going to get through there on the exit of Clairvaux but uh, it didn't work out for him uh, 141.0 for Jordan Johnson they're about seven tenths of a second slower than they were yesterday uh, with a different driver leading the pace um, with Oak Richardson out front. Here comes Johnson to the inside of Leach. A big moment for the leader, Richardson, on the break. So that's going to give Ben Hansi a chance to get up the inside. And this, oh, they're rubbing a little bit there. Uh, this gives the opportunity for Ben Hansi to go through. I don't think he's ahead yet. And we saw him go side by side with Jordan Johnson through the S's yesterday. He hasn't raced against Oak Richardson much. But uh, nevertheless, they still run side by side through there. But Hansi and... Uh, and Richardson was slow out the corner. So Scott Leach around the outside through Barcroft. He's alongside Hansi who locks up as they go down towards Sunny. And oh, they're all still in the same order, Ian. They are. And, but yeah, those two scrapping and the mistake from Mike Richardson did very much bring Scott Leach and Jordan Johnson into the equation. So although Johnson's not yet cleared Scott Leach, he'll be happy now that it's a, a definitely a lead quartet that we have. And actually Chris Young's not too far behind either, is he? In fifth place and Ian Tomlinson in sixth. So the lead four heading through the complex and towards the hairpin for the fifth time here and uh, still anybody has raced this you wouldn't want to uh, predict who might win this Oak Richardson trying very hard he's made a couple of mistakes though that we've seen but Ben Hansi not able to capitalize and indeed Ben Hansi almost lost out on P2 Scott Leach for the back end of the circuit on the previous lap so it's 17 Oak Richardson the leader 40 Ben Hansi in second 13 Scott Leach is third 92 Jordan Johnson fourth 50 Christian Young in fifth 19 Tomlinson in sixth then Jake Mickelwright Adrian Johnson Matthew Penafarth O'Neill and Tom Holland rounding out the top ten with six minutes of the race to go so they're on lap six we did nine yesterday in the 15 minute uh, race and it's Richardson then who is leading and it's Johnson who's on the move. He goes up the inside of Scott Leach for third. And Jordan Johnson makes that move work into the corner. And I think he's going to hang on out of the corner. So the, the Gloucester uh, racer, Jordan Johnson, a 31-year-old HGV mechanic, is up into third. And he's behind the driver who was ahead of for so long yesterday, Ben Hansi. But this time they're battling over second position. That's right. And of course, in the opposite order to what they were for the majority of the race yesterday, 
as well. So fascinating to see what Jordan Johnson can do. It's been a good drive already to get from sixth on the grid up to third position and be very much in the thick of the action here. Top six, you can see, are a long way clear of the rest. There's a seven-second gap back to Jake Mickelroy in the 32 car. As we're watching now, Jordan Johnson go around the outside of Ben Hansi at the first part of the complex. That gives him the inside line for the hairpin. Ben Hansi's trying to hang on in there, but he goes through just Jordan Johnson up to second place. So is this going to be Jordan Johnson uh, putting right what he would perceive as a rug of yesterday and uh, being able to get the win? He's still got Oak Richardson to, to try and get through, though. He's six tenths behind as they go on to lap number seven with probably two more laps to go after this one. And uh, for Jordan Johnson, it's a bit like the reverse grid race we'll have later, isn't it? So he's been picking them off one by one from a, a lower starting position. But uh, what worked out well for him is there no gaps are really developed. And immediately he's challenging for the lead on the outside line up towards Tower Bend. And can Oak Richardson hang on on the inside uh, line here? I don't think he... Can. So Jordan Johnson has to stay behind in P2. But then you've got Scott Leach there and Chris Young and Ian Tomlinson still pretty much making it a six-way battle for the lead of the race. A tighter run out of the Essex for Johnson. Is that going to give him a run through Barcroft and into Sunny? No, he decides that's not the best idea. But uh, the leader runs wide through the first part. So into the complex in, we saw Johnson make a move here for second one lap ago. We did. Just to say Tom Holland's made up a couple of places. He's up to eighth place uh, now. And they've been in tenth place for a lot of the race. Leaders heading into the complex once again, though. Pretty much single file at this point, though. We'll see if there's any moves made on the way into the hairpin. Move to the right-hand side of the circuit, the racing line, to get a tight exit from the corner. Who's going to get the better exit out of the hairpin. Ah, yellow flags and a safety car. Oh, that's not what Jordan Johnson wanted with only three minutes of the race to go, is it? Safety car is being brought out. And I would think it's... Well, we don't know why it's what, it, what it's there for First yet. First there's a car in the gravel at Clairvaux. Uh, oh, yes, I could just about see it. That's just behind the, uh, the lights there from where I am. 23? 23. That's the car of Martina Ward, I'm afraid. So... Unless they can get that car out of the gravel track very quickly, I'm not sure we're going to get a, any more racing out of this. So that would be bitter news for, for Jordan Johnson. But uh, Martina Ward there in the gravel trap, 35 years of age, lives in Staplehurst, but she was born and raised in Bulgaria. And it's her rookie season in racing. And she has made the switch from uh, sim racing to real world racing in this BS motorsport car. But she's in the gravel trap at the moment. Uh, and is out of the race and she, it's brought about the safety car. She had got herself up to 17th and was going the best part of a second quicker than yesterday. So she was getting quicker, uh, but unfortunately that's a little bit too quick and uh, has ended up in the, in the gravel there. So are we going to get any more racing? Question mark. We've just under two minutes on the clock. Well, snatch vehicles there already and the safety car is driving at a really... Pedest reasonably pedestrian oh, speed. Don't want to go too slowly though, we might run out of time by the time <laughs> yeah. they get back round. Yeah, so the snatch vehicle is dragging Martina's car away and I think there's a chance that they might just about do this. So did Oak Richardson watch what John Lissetter did in the Master 7s to uh, make a restart work for you? Jordan Johnson has appeared to be the quickest driver in this race. Yeah, his best lap's over half a second faster than the rest. Ben Hansi didn't make it too hard for him to get past, did he? So whether he's still feeling a bit guilty from yesterday. Circuit's clear now, by the way. So the safety car can speed up and make sure we get here before the minute's up. That's right. So its lights were still on as we saw it head through the Jim Clark S's, but hopefully now it can just about uh, get round in time for another lap. And... Uh, well, hopefully a one lap dash to the checkered flag as we did in the Master 7 race earlier on today. J Jake Mickelroy got up to 7th before the safety car came out, didn't he? And it was Adrian Johnson who was up in 7th who dropped behind not just Mickelroy but Tom Holland as well. Safety car lights are out then and it looks like the marshals on the start line again to get ready with 
uh, a green flag to go racing once more. So this will be the end of lap eight. We'll get, again, nine laps out of it. Albeit this time, one will have been behind the safety car. So it's Oak Richardson, who is... I don't think he has done a Jonathan Nisseter, has he, really? In that he's got Jordan Johnson right behind him as the green flag waves with six seconds to go. And the race is back underway. So can Jordan Johnson take advantage of this situation, this one lap? dash and get through into the lead and going wide there at Clairvaux is the race leader Oak Richardson that last Jordan Johnson alongside him through Hawthorne and Johnson goes through and it might be that Ben Hansi can follow him through to second place as well through the chicane they go Hansi I think has gone off there well that's well where has Oak Richardson gone he's still there in second place Hans has gone back to fifth it's got Leach that's gone up to third position but Leach now is going to challenge Oak Richardson down into tower yep um, the, where Oak Richardson went was across the um, tarmac runoff through the cones so he didn't go around the chicane yeah. um, you can't go side by side through the through the chicane and Ben Hansi weren't backing out I guess there wasn't too many other options but Hansi lost positions but he's fighting back isn't he alongside Scott Leach through the S's and that means Leach runs out of road and not for the first time I don't think at that point they're still side by side through Barcroft Leach stays on the tarmac there which he'll be very pleased about so um, the only change of position in all of that was Jordan Johnson taking the lead into Clairvaux. Everything else is in the same order somehow. Oh, no, that's the Christian Young's on the grass. Uh, and that's going to lose him a place for sure to Ian Tomlinson. But Jordan Johnson is in the position he spent most of yesterday. He's, he'd led a whole race, basically, but taken two races to do it. And it's going to be the race he didn't lead much of in, but he's coming through the final corner as the leader. Great drive from sixth to get into the lead of the race. Oh, Richardson really pushing, gets a bit sideways out of the corner. That's not a particularly quick way of doing it, though. So up to the line goes Jordan Johnson to take the chequered flag, and that is good for him after the disappointment of yesterday. Jordan Johnson takes the win then in car number 92, getting the lead at Hawthorne on the final lap from number 17, Oak Richardson, who took second place. In third place is number 40, and that's Ben Hansey. In fourth place, number 13, Scott Leach. Fifth to number nine, Ian Tomlinson. Sixth to number 50, Christian Young. At seventh was 32, Jake McElwright. Tom Holland, number 230, was eighth. Adrian Johnson, ninth in 22, and Matthew Penafarth and Neil up top 10 in 21st position. So yesterday, Jordan Johnson led all the laps but the last one, but didn't win. And Oak Richardson led all the laps today but the last one and didn't win. So in the MX5 Cup, that uh, famous saying of you don't want to lead on to the last lap seems to be pretty true. But uh, a good couple of races uh, this weekend from the five club racing competitors. And there was good battle through the pack as well. And... Uh, we look forward to a reverse grid race later, where uh, plenty of excitement uh, will come. But let's have a look at the results then for the second round of the Switch MX5 Cup. So Jordan Johnson it was that took that dramatic win on the final lap. Number 92, the winner from number 17, Oak Richardson. In third place, number 40, Ben Hansey. He had his hands full on the final lap as well. Scott Leach took fourth in number 13, ahead of Ian Tomlinson. He got fifth place in number nine, away from Christian Young, number 50, on the final lap, with Young going wide on the run to the complex. Seventh to number 32, Jake McElwright. A one-place improvement for him on yesterday. Tom Holland, not quite as far up the order as he was on Saturday. Eighth place for him in car 230. Head of number 22, Adrian Johnson, and 21, Matthew Penfarth and Neil, who completed the top 10. Matt Short was 11th, David Brown, Samuel Gorma, and Martin Vernon. 12th, 13th, and 14th, Nick, Bar Nick Favreau, I should say, 15th. Then Philip Barrett, 16th, Adam Wardley, Andrew Robinson, Neil Burrows, and Mary Barnard rounded out the finishers. Uh, Mary not having such a good race as she did yesterday, with Martina Ward the only non-finisher. Uh, and there's another race for those to come later on, Josh. Yeah, I think something must have happened to Mary Barnard on that last lap because she was in the pack and then was a long way behind on that last lap. So uh, perhaps a bit of a drama there. But learning still, as quite a lot of these uh, competitors are quite a few fairly new to racing. And it's a great way to begin racing. And lots of drivers say how much good fun racing Mazda MX-5, particularly this Mark 1 model R. Uh, why there's so many of them that do go racing throughout uh, the UK. And we'll see uh, another race later. We'll also see Mazda MX-5 uh, on the grid in the, uh, in the Club Enduro race as well. Not quite to this specification. 
So we've got uh, just one category that we've not yet seen today. That's going to be up next, the Freaky Part Sport Specials Championship, the final different category for their only race of the day. Then we go back to the start of the programme with Master 7s, Sports 1000 and MX5s before we conclude the day's action with the Tequiwa uh, Club Enduro Championship. But now let's head down to the MX5 pit lane. Well, a storming drive from Jordan Johnson in the Fab Club Racing MX5 Cup. Jordan, I mean, redemption for yesterday. Absolutely, yeah. Cheers. Uh, yeah, I was pretty determined to get to the front today after what happened yesterday. A racing incident, but yeah, I was, I had my angry eyes in today. I was getting there. <laughs> I mean, it was uh, such a meticulous drive, just picking them off one by one, getting back up the order. Yeah, well, I didn't get the start I wanted, really, so I knew that, and I was going to pick them off one by one as quickly as I could, get through. No mistakes. Very happy. Of course, we've got the reverse grid coming up this afternoon as well. How do you think uh, you'll fare there? If we can get through the turn one chaos, then which will be 10 probably, the draw, um, then we'll see how it goes. Hopefully another win. All right, well, good luck for that. Congratulations again on the win. Second place was uh, Oak Richardson in the number 17 car. A first and a second for you so far this weekend. But, man, what happened on that last lap? Um, I, I thought the race was over, so I wasn't quite ready for the restart. But um, one of them, it's all good. It's all fine. Still finished second. Uh, you live and learn. And, of course, you've got an opportunity in the reverse grid race coming up as well to, to make up some extra ground. Yeah, very true. So, all good. <laughs> all right, Grant. There's lovely, lots of smiling faces in the part Ferme here at the moment. Ben Hansi in third place. Wow, it looked like you really, really had to fight for that one. Yeah, that's proper elbows out stuff. And I like, had a few goes at Oak and he, he, <laughs> he held on strong. And then uh, as Jordan comes through, I kind of owed him a bit from yesterday. So, and you could see he really wanted that. So, um, I'm really proud and pleased for Jordan. So. I mean, you were hounding the back of Oak's car throughout the vast majority of that race before the safety car uh, came out and of course you have pressure from Scott behind as well so how do you handle that being right in the sandwich yeah it was, um, <laughs> it was like what was it just Oak and I it was kind of elbows out and then um, obviously us fighting brought Scott into it <laughs> there's a bit of a surprise and then it was kind of I think on the restart I dropped down to about fifth and <laughs> and so yeah pleased with the podium well, that's great stuff. Congratulations to you and all the best for the reverse grid race uh, coming up now. Cars heading out on track for the Freaky Parts Sports Specials Championship.